having fun is sometimes more important than winning. That, that is definitely true. It's just, for some people, losing is not that fun. Everyone plays that with the most amount of fun, right? That's just basically like, oh, what's, what's it called? Economics, right? Pretty much. The reason why some people are competitive is competing is fun in and of itself for a lot of people. So yeah, I, was, I had a question about Priest. I, I love dropping Jedi Idol because it trades so poorly against the early minions and it just takes up a slot. I get that a ramps your Jade counter up, but I feel like it's much more important to just try to hit the ramp. And feel I feel like even with wall growth in your hand, you don't keep Jade Idol anyways, because if you have wall growth in your hand, that just means that if you're keeping wall growth and Jade Idol, like you're less likely to four drop and a five drop, so yeah. Is someone injured? For the wild. Are you mocking me? Another thing about Jade Druid for the Mulligan phase is it's generally not good to keep Wrath and Swipe and Fail Rage because their minions have so much life. Like, 1 mana, 3 health, 2 mana, 4 health, 2 mana, 3 health. Like, all their minions, like 1 to 3 mana, have absurdly high amount of HP and low attack. So you're better off, like, skipping the removal on these minions and just playing something like an Azure Drake to contest rather than spending removal on these minions a lot of times. I mean, it, like, this, basically like, everything went wrong for me this game so far, because I'm forced to play a removal and no, no ramp game against um, the priest. It's a very poor swipe. I feel like I'm better off playing Fandral contests. I mean, I'm certainly exposing myself to Norshar in some ways, but I feel like I need to take a risk. Like, if I play Swipe, and plus I don't even have a 5 drop, if I play Swipe, the question is what I even swipe. I could I'd maybe swipe Norshire, but then the Ooze trades up against potential next turn top decks, and yeah, this is like scary if he has Powered Shield, or, um, eh, Powered Shield is scary, also Talon Priest is scary to allow him to, like, heal his guys with Norshire, basically. We want to put Aya next turn, I feel. He's probably going to play Azure Drake or Corruptor. He's low on cards as well. I'm definitely not playing Jade Spear because this just opens myself to Corruptor on a turn where he might have to Corruptor face if he doesn't have Azure Drake. Um, I'm just trying to think what to swipe. If he has Holy Nova and I swipe the Ooze, I'm in big trouble. I think Aya is a 6-5-3. And if I kill the ooze, that's I, I think I'm gonna have to ex expose myself to Holy Nova, especially because this is a one, like two one attack minions, and this is three health. If he plays Drake or Corruptor, the, those are like five fours. Like basically, I don't want his small minions trading for my Aya. I'm okay with the, if his five drop has to attack the Aya. Okay, so we have, I guess we have a couple of choices here with the Ancient War. Ancient War will lose the game to death, but it's like a decent risk to take. We lose the, the game to Blackwing Corruptor if we play um, Brand plus Jade Spirit. What to do? Now, he only has one Corruptor and two deaths, but the question is can we win because these are weak, right? Even with the Devil Battle Cry, let's see here. I do believe we also lose the Holy Nova playing Brand Holy uh, Jade Spirit. Let's see, then we get a 3 3 and a 4 4, which doesn't really trade either. No one. Yeah, I like I like Ancient War. One of the issues is this is a 5 6, so a after the trade it still survives, but I have two Ancient Wars. So I might just try the back to back Ancient War, especially if he doesn't have death, I can drop the second second Ancient War. Like with this, not only do I lose to um, Black and Corrupt number 2, I also lose to Holy Nova, and he could have up to like one. Zero to two Holy Novas in Dragon Priest. So if you can't, the Holy Novas another just insta lose play. Uh, 
it's the same amount of cards as death. Like, he would not have played Holy Nova turn 6 against Aya, right? The Corruptor was way too good there against Aya. So, Holy Nova is definitely still in his range. Must consider. Oh, and it's not trading in healing his operative. He's just holding this. This means that he, like, top deck death or something. He's not gonna attack. Um. Hmm. Maybe. If he does have death, he would death. Like, he would death the new Ancient War play. And I'm still in trouble. I kill this, then he deaths this. I, I feel like now I go for the brand play. It's better. For no one. Death Holy Nova kills me. I mean, Death Corruptor kills me, but if I do this, Holy Nova kills me with the spell power. I'm gonna have to do this, I think. I, wield the power. I don't think that's any, like, more or less likely than the Holy Nova inst instead of the Corruptor number two, because he only had one Corruptor left and potentially, I don't know how much Holy Nova is, is common, but I think one is super common, two is sometimes, zero is sometimes. I'm trying to think if I should uh, change a little bit, like to, basically maybe one Drill Call, that's the card that I would take out first, and then cards like uh, Living Roots and Fell Rage. Oh, this is good. I have so many Jade right now. This hand's actually sick because I have Blossom, Blossom, Behemoth, and this like starts running up the Jade really quickly. Why are you so entertaining to watch? I don't even play the game. I don't know. Dragon Priest, it doesn't really make sense for me to shuffle the second idol. Reno Priest, like, it kind of somewhat does. Um, I, I don't see a lot of people play Reno Priest, and hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it's fine either way. I'm thinking about Excavated, let's see. Trading it doesn't even help against Excavated. Holy Nova doesn't clear, like, anything. These are all too big. Five, four, three. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Four, eight, plus eight. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. Seventeen plus four is twenty-one. I'm too off lethal here. He can't death and win. I want to play around a uh, Dragonfire Potion with this play. I'm actually not far raging him here. I could get the same amount of damage next turn. Not, not as much through taunts because I can wrath. But the thing is, he might be Reno still. So I'm not going to Dragon Fire Potion him. Your magic shall not save. Uh, he is Reno. Where 
shall I Malfurion versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I must protect the wild. I really don't like keeping Jade Idol against Reno Lock. Because when you draw the second Jade Idol in this match, if you don't want to use it, that means that if you keep one Jade Idol, you top the second one, then, then you can't even play it. I'm looking for Ramp and Mulch in this matchup in Aya. Got my mulch, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I clearly don't want to put the idols in my deck. I want to, I want to draw taunts and draw rage. Camera. <laughs> so I moved my monitor today. It's like, I used to use two monitors. Right now I'm using one monitor, I put it more in the middle, and then I'm reading Twitch chat from like the side from Fine. one monitor. I'm playing Hearthstone in like windowed mode. I like this better. Less like looking around. Keeps me more comfy. I hope that's not Flame Imp. Where shall I Okay, so this is his PO from his uh, from his deck. I know I have Gadget, but I'm I don't think I'm like Gadget plus you know Jade Idol next turn. I'd rather just not worry about that for a while and play off of like the Nourish Swipe Jade Spirit Hand and just play Gadget closer to ten. My Jade still small and his uh, imp gang is so good. I think I'm better off nourishing and hero powering and then try to get bigger stuff. Like Drew the Call, Aya, Behemoths. Okay, let's cycle here. No time for games. Perfect double swipe turn. Uh, do it. Ninety six. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the strife crew. Here's a crow fist. This is my second idol, but I have Fandral for this idol, or Gadget. And I'd probably Fandral though to get the minion. We'll see. He's not that strong on board. I like this. I'm not that weak to Abyssal Enforcer here. Because this Fandral, this imp can't trade in Abyssal. Like, it only does um, 3 damage to everything. He's already used Morquil as well. Shuffling in Jedi is really good now because right now my hand, like Gadgetan, would be good with as well as, uh, like I have two Ancient Wars for my next turns, and it's really nice to fit in something with the Ancient War. Like I can do Ancient War Blossom as one turn, but if I get Jade Idols, I can also go Ancient War Hero Power, Jade Idol. Yeah, like Abyssal at least kills this guy. So this is the second rate for it. He has 8 power on board. We have back to back Ancient Wars, although if he has the hard removal like Siphon, what? then he can develop something else too, right? So the second Ancient War is not going to be even good because he'll be so strong that I can't play Ancient War. 
Hopefully I get a jade idol. Nine more damage to kill us. They're playing taunts this turn, though. We're gonna we're not gonna innovate out Blossom because we could get Shadow Flame this turn. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to play minions as this board grows. And if he has these kind of cards like Shadow Flame, other types of AOE like Nether isn't as scary uh, because you know kills his side of the board as well. I'm just hoping he doesn't have Shadow Flame. I usually won't beat Shadow Flame here anymore. The problem is I'm stuck playing minions every turn. I can't really kill these minions. Like, I can't really kill these guys with spells, because I already use all my spells. I already used my double swipes already. I only have one Marath. It's not only spell left. So I have very little spells. I need to win through just like swarming his guys. Like I need to win through getting trades. That's one Blast Crystal out. We're basically staying with Innervate for a gadget. We still have some like three Jet Addles in our deck, right? So we, we can Miracle off. I don't feel like you go for this turn. We have good plays. We can go Gadget, Innervate, Fell Rage, and go for the Idols. And we have one Raven Owl, three Jet Addles in our deck, and a Wrath. No twisting, probably, with this play. That's his last hard removal outside of twisting. I really like this play here. Because this, uh, like, this, there's no more. Uh, what's it called? Blast Crystal or Siphon, right? And then the 7 1 is hidden behind this 5 10 taunt, and he doesn't have a removal for 5 10 taunt. He can twist the here is the main thing, but I feel like he would have done it last turn too. 